Hello and welcome. Let's talk about fracture. So, what does it mean by fracture? Fracture may be defined as any structural breach in natural continuity of bone and cartilage. Classification of fracture. Etiological classification. It may be traumatic fracture which is due to sudden injury or pathological fracture where because of presence of any pathological condition there is fracture. In case of stress fracture due to repeated minute trauma at the same site. Clinical classification according to communication with the exterior. Simple or closed fracture. The fracture which is not communicated with the external air is known as simple or closed fracture. Compound or open fracture. The fracture which is communicated with external air through the wound of skin and soft tissue. This is a picture showing open and a closed fracture. In open fracture, there is communication with the exterior. But in closed fracture, there is no any protrusion of the bone or any laceration or injury to the skin. Now, according to the involvement of vital structures, simple. Fracture is not involved with the injury to the vital structures. Complicated. The fracture involving the vessels, nerve and vital organs during the initial injury. Now, radiological. According to the configuration of the fracture or according to the direction of force. Transfer fracture by angulation force, oblique fracture, spiral fracture, jet fracture, comminuted fracture, wedge fracture, abelson fracture, depressed fracture, impacted fracture, and burst or scattered fracture. Now, this is a picture showing different types of bone fractures open, transverse, green stick, comminuted, segmental, closed, spiral, linear, and impacted fractures. Now, classification of fracture according to involvement of joint capsule intercapsular and extracapsular according to the cortical involvement of bone complete where there is fracture of both sides of the cortex a greasy fracture where there is involvement of the one side of the cortex of the bone where other bone side remains normal now clinical features of fracture symptoms there is history of trauma pain swelling deformity and loss of function which may be complete or partial now clinical features of fracture which include signs swelling Redness, deformity, tenderness, abnormal mobility, crepitation, and restriction of movement. Investigation. Plain X-ray of the affected part is done. A specific investigation for diagnosis includes X-ray, CT scan, and MRI, while investigations for general anesthesia includes blood for TC, TC, ESR, hemoglobin percentage, chest X-ray, ECG, blood urea, serum creatinine, and RBS. General principles of management of fractures. First aid, airway clearance, maintenance of breathing, control of external hemorrhage, covering of the external wound with a clean dressing, immediately providing some forms of immobilization and relieving of pain. Clinical assessment, state of circulation, pulse and blood pressure, state of consciousness by GCS scoring, identification of any communicating wound, evidence of vascular, nervous or visceral injury. A specific treatment recognition reduction retention and rehabilitation are the four r for treatment of fractures recognition includes identification of fracture site reduction includes reposition of the bony parts in their anatomical positions retention includes rest by immobilization and rehabilitation now supplementary treatment analgesics intravenous fluid antibiotics prophylaxis against tetanus and gas gangrene treatment of any pathological cause methods of treatment of fracture rest traction plaster immobilization simple gravity or color cough sling close reduction and external fixation open reduction and internal fixation excision prosthesis common fracture seen in children supracondylar fracture of humerus clavicle fracture epiphyseal separation epiphyseal fracture separation green stick fracture torus or buccal fracture hairline fracture and mid septum fracture, crack or incomplete fracture and galaxy fracture. Common fractures of upper limb, pulse fracture, fracture of shaft of radius and ulna, supracondylar fracture, fracture of the neck of the humerus, fracture of the shaft of the humerus and fracture clavicle. Now complications of fracture. The immediate complications include local complications like skin lacerations, bleeding and injury to the muscle, tendon, basals, knobs, soft tissue and viscera. General complications include shock and multiple organ system failure. 
Only complications include locally complications like infection of the skin, necrosis and gangrene, bulk means ischemia, bulk means contracture, infection of the joint leading to septic arthritis, infection at fracture site, acute compartment syndrome and gas gangrene. General complications include tetanus, pulmonary embolism, pneumonia, fat embolism, cross syndrome and delirium treatments. Late complications include local complications like malunion, nonunion, reader union and vascular necrosis. Growth retardation, post-traumatic osteoporosis, pseudic painful atrophy, refracture, chronic osteomyelitis, osteoarthritis, persistent joint stiffness, delay deformity, ankylosis, post-traumatic myositis, ossificans, and third in palsy. General complications include renal calculi and accident neurosis. Now, prevention of the immediate complications of fracture, careful removal of the offending agent, immediate step to control bleeding, and immediate intravenous fluid and blood transfusion to prevent shock and multi-organ system failure. End of the topic.